Hi guys, it's me again, Molly Kun, and today I'm going to be talking about a new game I've got. So, in those of you who don't know, I'm really into my like, board games and card games. I'm a huge fan of them sort of things. At uni, I was actually on the board game society. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm a massive gamer when it comes to like board games and things. But the one I've got today isn't actually out in the shops yet, and that's Oligarchy. It's a bit of a strange card game in the sense of how it plays. I mean, I'll just explain it to you, some of it. I mean, you have eight factions. So you have Media, Eco, Government, and Military, Corporate, Crime, Illuminati and Religious and you build a 60 card deck based around as many factions as you want but the more factions you have the easier it's going to be for your opponents to beat you because how it works out is you have these spinners and you start with 12 power base and you split it between your factions however you want but in order to play cards from that faction, you need power base in that faction. And for the character cards, you need certain amounts of power base to be able to use them effectively. So, yeah, having less factions in your deck is better. I mean, the, I got the starter kit, which comes with four decks of two, each containing two factions. So I got an eco-media deck, a government military deck, a corporate crime media deck, which is my main one I'm building on, and an Illuminati religion deck. So you have your 60 card deck. In order to play your cards, you need to gain two resources, influence and affluence. And you, so you play one of them each turn, and you get X of each, depending on how, X the number of each of that card you got. But also, your resources don't deplete at the end of turn, which is different to most card games I play, because I play things like Magic the Gathering quite a lot, where your mana at the end of the turn is got well, your mana is just gone if you if you have any left unless you have yeah. Your mana isn't stored basically. <laughs> but in this in this game it is, and you're gonna handy little spinner to help you keep count of how much mana you, how much of each you have. Oh no, it is capped. You can't have more than 20 of each resource. Which again is different to most card games I play because you can just have, you know, loads of loads of loads of resources depending on how you build your deck. So, yeah. So you have your two resources, affluence and influence. And they're used to play your different up your up different cards in your deck. And you get things like incidents. And the cost here. So in this case, you need to play. You need to pay one influence and zero affluence for your deck in this card. But yeah, you get things like incidents, which disrupt play, and then you get items. And items play. Items stay in stay in effect, and they also have a sell value because during your turn you can sell them. Sometimes you have to pay to sell them, or sometimes you sell them and you gain stuff. Generally, if it's bad, you have to pay to get rid of it. So like this one, Vial of Disease. You lose one power base at the end of your development phase. You then give possession of Vial of Disease to another player. And to sell it, you have to pay two affluence and two influence. And you have scenarios, which again stay in play. And yeah, they just stay in play until they're destroyed or resign. Or Resources, which generally help you gain affluence and influence. And then your characters. So, as I was saying, your characters need specific amounts of power base. So, uh, here you've got Motivational Speaker. That 3 plus means in order to use that ability, you have to have 3 or more power base in the Corporation faction, because he's a Corporation character. So it's it's quite interesting in how it plays and also you can't just put any card into any deck you have to 
you can only put cards in of your faction. So like a null can only be used by crime, military and religion. It's, it's a very interesting card game. I've been playing, I've been playing quite a bit of it this afternoon with Joe, a friend of mine. And yeah, it's very interesting. Each of the factions focuses on a particular way of playing. So like my corporate crime deck, which I'm building up, the corporate faction is good at gaining, is good at turning influence into affluence. And then the crime is good at using affluence to do damage or distracting your opponents so they can't do stuff. So like one of the cards is in the crime faction is Substance Peddler. And he distracts one of your opponent's characters so they can't attack, defend, or use abilities. And you also have Trophy Wife in the crime faction, which does the same thing. So it, it's, it can be particularly crippling to an opponent if they have a really good card out and you just keep it constantly distracted. And then you take out the rest of their faction. So it, it's... I rather like how the corporate crime plays. And then you've also got Religious Illuminati deck, which came in the starter set. Religion works around discarding cards from your opponent's deck. And Illuminati work. I'm not sure how Illuminati actually works. I haven't seen, I haven't seen it to full effect. It, it seems to manipulate your opponent's cards against them from what I've seen so far, but I don't think that's the full extent of what Illuminati does. Um, it works well with religion. Although I have actually seen religion paired with eco, which works quite well, because then you just get loads of stuff which your opponent can't deal with. I can... Because the other side of religion is power base gain. And of course your power base is your health, so it's handy. But then, so it's eco. And so you're just generating loads of power base and preventing damage. And your opponent can't get around that without taking all your cards. But then eco has a way of just sprouting more cards and forcing... Uh, like, yeah, one of the instant cards of Eco is Defect, which steals one of your characters, well, steals one of your opponent's characters and puts them on your side. So it's, yeah, an error. It's a dangerous combination to have Eco Religion. Um, but then you've got Military, which is very hard hitting, very aggressive play. And so far, that's all I've seen of the deck, so I haven't played it enough to explain what each of the eight factions do in full. But um, also the other interesting aspect of oligarchy is there's something called power plays. And that's if you have three characters of the same faction and you send and you send three of the same faction to attack, you, you do a power play depending on what that faction is. So like corporate one is takeover. And what it is, you take the top card of that of the defending player's deck and put it into play on your side or the opponent's side, depending on how it works. So you basically just steal your opponent's cards. And then you've got Crime, which is where the power players beat down, which is before they assign their defenders, they must first destroy a character they have. So it's just X for damage. Well, it's actually a very interesting game. It plays differently to the magic to the games, the card games that I'm used to, like Magic: The Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh. So it plays very differently. To, well, not very differently, but differently enough from them games to be almost unique in how it plays. Um, I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. I know, and um, Joe was having fun with it this afternoon. Um. So I'm look I'm actually looking forward to seeing the expansion sets for it and see how it builds into a full fledged game. Because at the moment it is just starting out. Like I said, it's not in the shops yet. I'm quite lucky to have the starter set already. And a couple of boosters would come with it. But so yeah, yeah. I am very interested to see how it plays out. I've heard there's plans to introduce new factions. 
that's all I've heard. I don't know what these new factions are going to be. Oh no, I have suggested putting in an industry faction. Because, <laughs> um, imagine you... Yeah, I've, I've suggested putting an industry faction in. Because we have like a corporation which is about selling stuff. So I was like, how about having an industry where they're making the stuff? And that can play on well with a corporation. Um, so we'll see what we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's a really like I said, it's a really fun game, and I was hoping I could get hold of some discount codes for you guys in case you wanted to go and buy it or look into it more. But um, unfortunately, haven't got back to me on that one, which is a bit of a shame. However, do check it out. There should be a website up for it now. Again, I asked for links, but I haven't provided any. Um, it's called Oligarchy. Go look it up. See what you think. I mean, it's. I think the starter sets are going for. Will be going for twenty five pounds. And um, for twenty five pounds, that's four decks straight away you can play with, and all the spinners and stuff as well you need to play. So it's definitely worth the twenty five pounds, I think, and especially since I know card games like Magic the Gathering they'll sell stuff like that for forty, fifty quid. So you're getting a bit of a deal here. So, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, so that's it for me this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.